Good morning, friends, and welcome to Move Miss Day 10. I believe it's day 10. If not, it's whatever day it is. I am just going to get my run done this morning. It's about 6.30. And then we'll start this day. See you in a little bit. All right, friends, it's now about an hour later. Steven is still asleep, and I, while I was working out, um, I did my run, and then I was doing some arms. So in between sets, I put some cinnamon rolls in the oven. They're done now. However, I just have them in the oven staying warm. I'm gonna go grab us coffee so that Steven just has like a really nice start to his day. I also know I've shared these before, but I wanna share them again. These are the Face Soft Gym Towels. They have charcoal in them. They're antimicrobial, and they're also really good for your skin. I love these things. We keep them in our Peloton room. I have like four of them. Just throw them in the washer, um, but they're really wonderful. If you're looking for like a really good gym towel that's good for your skin, these are the ones. So. I'm gonna go grab our coffee because it's ready for pickup. It's about maybe four minutes away, and then we'll keep the day rolling. All right, I am back. I just chatted with Steven. He's going up to get ready, but he's so appreciative for the coffee and the cinnamon rolls. They'll be done when he comes down to head out for work um, to eat breakfast. Mabel already chased some deer up the hill this morning, so she's already had an active day, and my workout is already done for the day, so that's in a good spot. When the sailing steamer guy comes, I think I'm just going to like hang out upstairs with the dogs and put them in our bedroom and maybe like just read until he's finished. I don't know. I've never had this done, so I don't know how long it will take. I am still feeling better. I want to explain a little bit. When I say I'm cutting out carbs, I think the better way I need to say is like I'm cutting out like white flour. I'm wondering if I'm getting like a gluten intolerance. Um, so I'm just trying to stick with like more whole foods, but I'm like not cutting out fruits that have carbs, like that stuff. I'm not doing anything crazy. I just think like bread and stuff is like not setting well with me. Um, I've noticed it like the last couple weeks, but more particularly, definitely the last two. And that's the only thing I can track it down to. So I want to try and see if it makes me feel a little bit better. But the last two nights that I've done it, I have felt so much better going to bed, less bloated, like just feeling better. So we're gonna stick with that. All right, I got a oat milk iced latte. Um, probably won't drink all of it, but just to get some caffeine in me. And then we'll wait for the Stanley steamer. Stanley steamer makes carpets cleaner and apparently couches too. So I went ahead and got cleaned up for the day. I figured I had a little bit of time. <clears throat> Stephen was eating breakfast, so I went and got cleaned up, did my skincare this morning, and now I'm just gonna be patient and wait. So I'm gonna plop down at the dining room table, do a little bit of planning, do a little bit of reading. <laughs> While I was filming just now, um, I ended abruptly because they just called. They are leaving the office to head to our house right now, so they should be here in about 20, 30 minutes. So in about 15, I'll take the dogs upstairs. But in the meantime, I am gonna try to get some planning done. The cleaners just left. It is 1.30. This is kind of, they got here at 9.30. Um, this is kind of put a uh, change in my plans for today, but it looks so good. I'm very, very happy. We ended up having them hit this chair too. I don't know if it is fixed. In fact, I think we might get some more water staining around it. I think this is just gonna have to be reupholstered. So not, not too positive about that chair, but the couch turned out so well. Even if we end up using this, I'm gonna put it in a guest bedroom with a blanket over it until I decide about reupholstering it. It's a real shame but we tried. Altogether, it was $260. Just so you know, I think that's their pricing everywhere for a sectional and a chair. The sectional was 200, chair was 60. But I don't think this is gonna actually turn out very well. I actually think the stain is going to be larger. I'm just gonna let it go and see what happens. All right. I'm going to let these dry. I'm actually going to flip them so they dry on the other side. But my afternoon's going to look a little different. Oh my goodness, friends. This day has gotten so far away from us. I've been on the phone with my parents all afternoon. Their house sold. Um, we thought we would hear back tomorrow about their house. But instead we heard today. And... 
Uh, yeah. Um, so hopefully we can get them down there sooner than we thought, which is really exciting. There's a chance that we could get them down there by the end of April. Fingers crossed. Um, there's a couple other things that we need to fall in place, but we could all be there before we know it. So <laughs> today's escaped me. I've been texting Steven. I've been texting my parents nonstop. I, th I think I've called my mom like four times. <laughs> um, no, just super excited. And now I'm just trying to figure out if I can get to them to help them finish up some things while still getting this house all squared away because there are still things to do here. Um, we're just in a really good place. It's really cold here today, but the doggies are outside. Phyllis Diller's hair is blowing in the wind. The other thing that happened today, not happened, is I got some fabric swatches for furniture. This stuff is from West Elm. I have fabric swatches coming from Serena and Lily for another piece of furniture. Well, a couple pieces of furniture. But I have some Pottery Barn swatches coming. I am going to say that I'm not in love with these. So I just ordered another handful because I am in love with the chair. I do like this boucle, this chunky boucle. That's an option. And I also really liked this yarn dyed linen weave. If you look at it, it almost feels like it could have like a plaid pattern as like a whole piece. The thing is, I have to find fabric at West Elm that I love because I love the chairs so, so much. They're swivel recliners and I just like imagine movie nights and having two of them. So I am thinking of this weave. I also want the fabric to be different texture than this. And my area rug is getting delivered today. So maybe once I lay out that area rug and can see it, and then with the swatches, I might feel differently. Um, this blue I was excited about, this basket slub ocean, it just is reading too dark and too green. So right now I am digging the boucle because it's so soft. And this, I also love that this boucle has like a very nice texture to it that I think plays off of this really well and it still has some warmth to it. It's like a warm white. The lighting is terrible today because it's super overcast. But I have some more swatches coming. I sourced some Pottery Barn outdoor furniture. Steven and I have a vision on our second floor off our kitchen. We have a deck and we just want like two like really good big oversized like wicker chairs to like read at and have a glass of wine at night with just a simple table in between so we are looking for those and i think i found the perfect ones today at pottery barn so i have some swatches coming from there as well the thing is the wait time for furniture that you are getting custom upholstered is immense and i really don't want to finalize some orders until like we're moved down there just in case the timing does get off so i think in the next week or two is when i will place all my orders but i have like a very good sourcing sheet of like everything that needs to get ordered and i'm going to be sharing that sourcing sheet with you i just feel iffy about sharing things until i've sat in them felt them lived in them. You guys know how I am about recommendations. I have to have tried it before I would ever recommend it to you. But yeah, um, I think Steven just got home a little early and I don't even have dinner started. So our rug just came. I am so happy with it. I love the colors, it's enough of the cream and enough of the blue. It's washable, which was something really important with the dogs for us, but I am really, really happy with it. And what I'm thinking is, I'm gonna have the sectional maybe facing this way. That way I have enough for like both chairs then to be sitting on it. I mean, I'll have to play a little bit around with it just to see, but I'm, I'm happy with it. 
I'm going to roll it so I can get all the wrinkles out um, and just let it sit. But like I could easily, because it's washable, just take a steamer to it. So I'm not that upset. This won't be our forever rug, but we wanted something obviously that was easy to clean and treated right now just with Bubba's getting older. And we wanted a big living room rug at least for him. I'm really happy with it. It's like the perfect color. And now I think, let me pull. I really think one of these three swatches could really, in all honesty, I think, I think any of those will work. Yeah, I'm super happy with this. And rug it down. I also think I'm going to put this in storage for a little bit. Not in storage, just like store in a, one of our closets at the house. Um, because I don't know if it will work in a space right off the bat. It just doesn't match the new vibe, but I'm not, not going to part with it. We spent a pretty penny on this at an antique store. And it's all hand woven, so... We're gonna hold on to that. But I like this, and then if you think, I'll have the grass cloth. It will all like really tie together well. It's a really nice size rug. Happy, 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 happy. I was nervous about this, but I'm very happy with it. All right, I'm starting to notice a trend with editing Christopher having to hop on. Yesterday, the day just kind of got away from me with Stanley Steamer is taking way longer than I anticipated and then everything happening with my parents. I literally spent the day <laughs> contacting my mom. She's probably so annoyed with me. Um, it was just really exciting. It kind of like, kind of blew apart the rest of the day. However, I got to share with you and I know we were chatting about this over on Instagram. I am completely obsessed with what is going on in the royal family. I've never been into them ever before, but I believe everything and nothing all at the same time. Um, I'm just finding it so interesting. So last night I ended up getting the book, The Palace Papers, and I stayed up all night reading it. Uh, and now editing the vlog for today to go live and recording for tomorrow's video. However, um, just because the day got away with from me, I wanted to make sure I hopped on here and just said that I appreciate all of the love for movements, all of the sharing, all of the comments, all of the likes, it all helps. But take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind, kindness is free, give to everyone. Until next time, which will be tomorrow. Bye-bye, friends.